Hi, baby. Hello, my book friends. Welcome or welcome back to my channel. My name is Carly. This is Libby. It is time to talk about our TBR hopefuls for August. I can't believe we're in August, to be honest. I <laughs> This year is going by very quickly as well as going by very slowly, if that makes sense. I don't know if I want it to speed up or slow down. I don't know. But here we are. We're talking about what I'm hoping to read in August. Um, if you watched my uh, July reading wrap up, you know, I'm kind of in this like this slump, not necessarily a book slump, just I've not been able to like focus really on anything. So I didn't pick too many books for my August TBR because yeah, I don't know. I've just not been able to like fully focus on a book. And I'm worried that I'm going to read a book that I'm really excited about and I'm not fully there and I'm just not going to like it. So um, I didn't pick too many, but I have my little, my little licking buddy here and we're going to talk about what I'm hoping to read. But before we get there, if you're not already subscribed, make sure you hit that subscribe button as well as the bell to notify you when I upload. I upload every week talk about nonsense both hit the like button if you guys like this video and comment if there's something you guys want to see or if you have read any of these books I'm gonna be talking about um, I love talking with you guys um, also if you are not new here you have been a subscriber or you are a subscriber you will notice that we have a new channel name I talked a little bit about this on my reading wrap-up but I'll just say it again um, same content um, I just wanted to make the channel a little bit more personal to me and I wanted to just I don't know I wanted it to be more personal to me um, let's read into it I absolutely loved I just love to play on words but I wanted the channel to be more personal so Carly talks books is our new channel name as well as over on socials everything's been changed if you want to find me on socials all of that is gonna be linked down in the description as well as my Goodreads if you want to be up to date on what I'm reading at the moment so I'm really excited to kind of move forward with the new name new channel I just feel like it's kind of like new month new me that's what it feels like so I'm happy that we're all on this adventure together but let's go ahead and get to talking about what I hope to read in August so I picked four I picked four books um, mostly romance because romance is my tried and true gets me out of things gets me out of everything also you may hear the fan it's very hot out today and I turn it as low as possible but you may hear like the whirring and you may hear her hear Livy whining because she wants to lick me she has a problem and just wants to lick so you may hear that but let's go ahead and move forward so yes I picked four books most romance gets me out of it I am a tried and true romance girly it just it gets me through but I did put a um fantasy in there because it is now available for me on my Libby app to listen to. I'm going to try to listen to it as an audiobook. Maybe that will help. But the first book we're going to talk about, Rachel Gibson, Rescue Me. I absolutely love Rachel Gibson. You will see like all of her books right here. I love her. Um, there's only a few I don't have. I used to have all of them before I moved up to Washington. And then when I moved up here, I had to get rid of them because moving with a bunch of books it's very difficult. It came up with three suitcases and a dog and I couldn't bring everything. So I'm finally recollecting everything. Um, Rescue Me is one of her new-ish books that I have not read. Um, she is just a classic writer for me that I love her writing. I love her style. I love the banter. So I'm excited. Um, the back of it is everyone in, let me just read the back for you guys real quick. She's 33, unmarried, stuffed into a bubble young pink bridesmaid's dress, and the whole town wants to fix her up with anyone with a dental plan. Who's going to rescue Sadie Hollowell now? Sounds just, it's a classic Rachel Gibson. She, like, I feel like half of her characters, they always end up in some ugly ass dress, and that's when they meet, like, the man they're going to marry. <laughs> like, it's just, it's a classic romance. Like, for me, Rachel Gibson is my hallmark like my Hallmark movies, if that makes sense. Um, it's not super spicy. Um, it's definitely like, it's, you're in the room with them, if that makes sense. It's not a fade to black, which I am here for. Um, 
but yeah I'm excited to finally read this one um I just have never gotten to it another book I'm going to be trying to read in August is Ninth House by Leigh Bardugo uh, me and my fiance just finished the Shadow and Bone series on Netflix and it was eh I don't know if I didn't like it because I feel like all of the books were in there and it was just meshed together I don't know um it was okay I still want to try her books and I've heard good things at Lee uh ninth house and it just came up for audiobook on my Libby app so I'm hoping um the audiobook will help me during my morning walks to like I don't get through books um my friend had two copies so I have this one now I'm really excited so um I haven't even read the back and I don't think I want to so I'm not going to read the back <laughs> I'm also going to try to read The Summer Girl by Elle Kennedy. This is her newest release and it is the third in the Avalon Bay series. I absolutely love this series. It's This series is very iffy for people, but I love it. So I'm really excited about getting into this. Um, let me read the back real quick for you guys. College student Cassie Soul hasn't spent an entire summer in Avalon Bay in years, not since her parents divorced and her mother spitefully whisked her away to Boston. Now that her grandmother is selling the Boardwalk Hotel that's been in her, their family for five decades, Cassie returns to the quaint beach town to spend time with family, ring in the, her 21st birthday, and maybe find herself a summer flank. Perfect. Perfect summer book. I... Yeah, I'm excited. I'm excited about this. I have high hopes, high expectations for this. Um, and again, Elle Kennedy is such an auto buy for me. I know I'm going to like her books. So I'm excited about this one. Finally, I'm going to be reading The Rebel King, or hopefully reading The Rebel King. Sorry, this, this lighting, the sun is like hitting perfectly through the shades and it's going to blind, <laughs> blind me. Um, the Rebel King by Gina L. Maxwell. Uh, this is the second in a series. This is kind of a modern fairy dark romance, in my opinion. The first being The Dark King. Um, very good, very spicy. You have fairies. You have like Vegas underworld type stuff. Um, forced marriages. Very good. It. I really liked it. I'm excited about this one. This one just came out last week or something or like end of July. I'm very excited about it. It's also available on Kindle Unlimited if you don't want to buy it. Very, very excited. Let me read the back for you guys real quick. Of all the Varen brothers, Tiernan is the least suited to wear the night, night court crown. The rebel prince is happy with no responsibilities or accountability, just the freedom to pursue his own dark, lush pleasures in Sin City, including his secret hunger for a certain smart mouth, fiery redhead. Now you meet both of these characters in the first book. Um, I do recommend reading the first book before you get to this one. They're, they're all standalones, but in my opinion, read, read the first one. That's just, I, I, yeah, read the first one because I don't think, I don't know. I th just read the first one. That's all I'm going to say, you know? So like I said, I didn't pick very many. I only picked four. I feel like it's a good number. I don't like, I see some people who pick like huge TBRs and I'm just like, okay. I mean, you don't have to read everything in your TBR. I'm like, I, if I can get through one or two of my TBR, that's great. But I don't, why do you pick like 15, 16, 17? But I don't know. I don't get it. I don't get it. Whatever. <laughs> I'm such a mood reader. I don't know how you can pick that many to whatever. So I pick four. Um, hopefully these will help um, in my little life slump. <laughs> um, and I'm excited. I'm excited about Rachel Gibson, especially the summer girl. If you guys have already read any of these, let me know down below in the comments what your thoughts were. Um, if you guys have any advice to get over a slump, let me know. Yeah, August I think is going to be really good. We are slowly making our way through summer, through this heat, through our summer reads. I'm excited. I'm excited to see what you guys are going to be reading in August. And I will definitely keep you guys updated on all of the books I'm going to be reading. But until the next video, bye.